Finding Peace from the Greatest Encourager by Susan McIlmoyle For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Romans chapter 15 verse 4 I opened my yogurt this morning, and it had a positive little saying on the foil top, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. Well, what a pleasant surprise, starting my day with positivity. Counselors and medical professionals agree that gratitude and positive thinking are excellent tools for our mental and physical well-being. Research shows Positive thinking is linked to better heart health and less inflammation. While having a positive attitude is definitely a good and apparently healthy thing, at the end of the day, they are just words. The world's encouragement can only do so much. You see, it has nothing backing it. Although nice, the words on my yogurt lid have no power. However, in God's word, we have wise encouragement and life-changing power backing the words we read. God repeatedly gives us practical ways to live a better, more peaceful life through his word. For instance, he encourages us to be thankful constantly and to praise him in all circumstances. These words are not just lovely things to do or simple commandments. They are the key to an abundant life we all long for. God is the greatest encourager that ever lived. Sadly, the human race would rather listen to yogurt lids, self-help books, or counselors before listening to the greatest encourager, God. We tend to view God's encouragement as impossible burdens or commands rather than the invitations that they are. The scriptures remind us to use our minds in a way that leads to peace. In Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 8, we are encouraged by Paul the Apostle to pray rather than worry and to think about what is true, lovely, right, etc. From the beginning of creation, God knew how harmful negative thinking would be. So he continually encourages us to look back at him and away from dangerous, ugly thoughts. He guides and directs us with positive encouragement and power-filled, life-changing words. Sadly, the world's view of God's encouragement gets tangled into the lie that he is either a dictator or a megalomaniac. Even we Christians often become tripped up when looking at God's exhortations. We can easily fall for the lie that he is giving us impossible commands. For example, we are told over and over again between the Old and New Testaments not to be afraid even in the most terrifying circumstances, as in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It can seem impossible not to dwell on every fearful scenario when we are in a scary place. However, we know it's possible because God tells us. With God, all things are possible. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. Our God is not an unrealistic taskmaker, placing impossible commands on our shoulders. No, He is a loving God who encourages us to release the loads we carry to Him. He tells us not to be afraid, to trust, thank, and praise Him not for his good, but for ours. Through these appeals, we find real peace in our minds and lives. Do you see God's exhortations as burdensome 
undoable commands? Examine your perception of God. Do you see him as the faithful encourager he is, or an overbearing taskmaker, or maybe somewhere in between? Where or who is the first place you run to for encouragement? Is God one of them?